Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So, in this video, we are going to go ahead and begin building the titanium intercooler tubing for the Del Sol project. So, I'm pretty excited about this. It's been a little while since I worked with Ty, but I always jump at the opportunity to work with this material as it is one of my favorites. So, I think we are going to begin with the hot side tube as it will be the more cumbersome of the two tubes to build. And as I've said before in my videos, I like to start with the most difficult thing first. That way it's all downhill from when you begin, if that makes sense. So we need to go from here underneath around all this stuff up to the compressor outlet. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I don't think it's anything out of the realm of possibility. So I guess the only thing to do now is to get some of the material over here and start figuring out roughly how this is going to go so I can get a concise game plan and start knocking this out. So one point to make with titanium, especially polished tie like this, always, always, always wear gloves when you are handling it. The oils in your fingers will try to impregnate the surface finish of the material and as I've said before in videos, you'll have a beautiful titanium piece with a handprint or some sort of a digit print on it. It doesn't look good, especially once you start anodizing it. So, looking at this, it looks like we'll come out with a straight and it will, oh, probably 90 down like this, then 45 straight across, angle up, and this tube shouldn't be too bad to build actually kind of surprised about that so i guess i can measure out the straight that i need and make that cut and we can start building this tube a quick tech tip for you guys so i have a center line or a cut line rather scribed onto this titanium bend right here and i'm going to end up cutting it with a or with an abrasive wheel so one of the things to watch out with with titanium when you are cutting with an abrasive is the fragments that are coming off of the wheel and off of the metal itself can impregnate themselves into the surface of the parent material. So you'll have especially something like this that has a nice polished finish on it and you'll have little specks of abrasive and titanium that are burnt into the surface of it. So. The way to avoid having that happen is to use just some simple anti-spatter that you would use on MIG welds or something along those lines. So use some anti-spatter spray. I like the spray as opposed to the paste, it's a little bit easier cleanup. And this stuff, it doesn't, doesn't make for a terrible cleanup after you're done cutting. And it does ensure that you do not have any nasty spatter or any unsightly impregnations on the surface of the material. So I'll go ahead, I will hose down this two or this 90 degree bend with this anti-spatter spray. I can make the cut, then I will have two 45s and I can keep going with this lower intercooler tube.
The hot side intercooler tube is now fabricated, sitting up underneath of the car. Let's take a look at it. So I'll move my creeper over. So we can roll underneath and see it in all of its glory. So, oh, it's gonna be a little bit close on the camera here, but out of the compressor outlet, snakes down and it sits above the lower core support. So this will be the first thing to hit as opposed to the nice intercooler tube. And we go down along, nice straight section there. And it comes back into the intercooler inlet on this side. So we still have the ability to move around. So nothing is bound up. Enough room for the wastegate dump tube. And that is pretty sick. I'm happy with that. So that means the next thing to do is to build the cold side tube. Now we have one wrench in our plans right now. And that is, I am missing one of the Vangen weld flanges. So what I'll do is build the intercooler tubes with that one flange missing. I can use an aluminum one just to push on for the time being. And that'll get us the dimensions that we need and all of that. And I believe the final flange is due in tomorrow. Once that flange arrives, I can come in, tack it on, verify fitment if all is well there then it'll be time to anodize and weld all these intercooler tubes out so i'll get rocking on that cold side tube and by the end of the day we should have a full intercooler tube system for the del sol After another long sweaty day, we have all of the intercooler tubes fabricated for the Del Sol project. So went ahead and made my two piece cold side tube like I was talking about. And don't mind the tape right here. As I mentioned before, I don't have that titanium flange just yet. So the next best option was to take one of the aluminum flanges and to tape it to the titanium tube using paint tape as that won't leave any residue on the tube. So very happy with how this came out. It ended up working out exactly the way I thought it was going to. One, two, three, four 45 degree bends and some straight sections in between. So it looks sweet. And the last order of business for these before they can be anodized and then fully welded will be to place the blow off valve flange onto the intercooler tube. So I think the flange is going to land somewhere on this straight section right here, but I'm not going to do that today. That'll be a task for another day. So with all that being said, and I had a decently productive day today, knocking out all these titanium tubes, I think that's going to end this video off. So the next order of business will obviously be, as I said, to color and then to weld everything. And we will knock that out in the next video. So. As always, until then, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you then.